Welcome to the intro series for your Sage 50 accounting trial. In this video, we're going to look at how to get started with your trial. The steps in this video are based on the sample company included with Sage 50. Your own company information may appear different based on your industry or business type. If you're an existing business, you'll need three things. Current trial balance, fiscal year start date, all of your unrecorded invoices, records, and payroll information. If you're just getting started in accounting, you won't have a trial balance. If you have an older accounting software package, produce a trial balance through a reporting tool. If you're starting a brand new business, your fiscal year start date should be as soon as you begin transacting with customers or clients. Setting the start date to the beginning of your fiscal year and importing your existing accounting data will give you the most complete and detailed Sage 50 accounting experience. Remember, all the data you enter during your 30-day trial period is maintained when you purchase the software license. Sage 50 has a new company setup wizard to guide you through the process of creating a new company. The wizard starts when you open Sage 50 for the first time. Begin by entering your company name and address information. Enter your fiscal year start and end dates and the earliest transaction date. Sage 50 will create a list of accounts. Select your ownership structure, industry type, and company type. You can either accept the suggested file name for your company or enter a different name. Select where you'd like to store that file or accept the default by pressing finish. Sage 50 will now create your company. You can review and modify your settings and preferences in the settings window, grouped by module. Sage 50 automatically creates sales tax items based on the province you chose in the new company setup wizard. You can assign tax codes to customers and vendors to simplify tax calculations. If you have customers or vendors in another country, you can use a foreign currency, allowing you to create bank accounts, pay bills, and receive payments without conversions. You can also display reporting in both foreign currencies and your home currency. That's it. Your company is now set up. You're now well on your way to using Sage 50 for your business.